Hey guys, welcome to another video of the RoboDolph project and today we have these electric trolling motors that are used on small fishing boats and we're going to convert them from manual to robotically controlled drone thrusters. So here is one of the motors set up. Uh, these are designed to attach to a back of the back of the boat and have a handle here for manual control. Now obviously we're making a robot, so this manual control doesn't do us much good unless we make a robot to go in our robot. So let's take all this useless junk off that's designed for human beings and make it robot friendly. So these are all the controls that do uh, speed control for the propeller that's down here. Um, we're going to get rid of all this stuff because we have our own robot speed controller. So all these are not necessary. Here are the two thrusters now that just have the two cables going to the motor. And um, what we're gonna do is make a nice box with a connector that we can connect this to our motor controller. So here's our now not so simple box taking shape. Uh, there's a piece of PVC that goes here and this pipe is gonna go through a hole that we're gonna make at the bottom of this box. So this is a grommet, and it goes in here, and makes the hole look even more professional. Here's the connector we're going to install that's going to allow us to unplug the whole thruster unit from, uh, from the vehicle. And this has to go here. So we have to drill a funky looking shape to allow us to mount this to here. Okay, now I have to start button. So here we have the finished um, front covers. Uh, these are the connectors that are going to go into the um, cover. And uh, this is all the internal stuff for both of the thruster covers. So one of the last finishing touches is to finish up the wiring. Um, so here you can see uh, these are really big wires. And uh, these are going to have to connect to the wires on the, on the motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ferrules to the ends of these cables um, and that makes them really nice. And I'm going to do that right now. So these are the ferrules that go on the end of the cable and um, that way you don't have like a bunch of like strands that are going to fray. So here you see all the strands. This just goes over it and goes right up in there. And you make sure that it comes out at the end. And then you take your crimping tool 
And this is like 30 bucks on Amazon. And you stick it in there. And... Ah. So here's the positive and the negative wire of the motor, and here are the nicely terminated cables that we made for ourselves, and that goes there. So here are the robotic thrusters. Uh, they no longer have the manual control system at the top with the hand crank. We took that all off and we replaced it with two simple control boxes. Um, we have a connector now so that the client can unplug the, um, the whole motor and like take it away from the vehicle when they're done with a mission and just hose it down with fresh water. And these connectors are actually used in electric cars. Um, but yeah, so that's it for for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.